Good morning, everybody. This is Felix, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, we're going to be doing a helmet microphone review. So when you're moto vlogging, typically you have a microphone connected to your GoPro, which is connected to your chin mount, which is connected to your helmet. And the Purple Panda has been a very popular choice. This is a wired microphone. Let me show you the way that I have it set up here. So the Purple Panda basically connects with this wire back here to the GoPro. The GoPro requires this mod to work with the microphone because you can't just plug in the microphone directly into the GoPro. So you have to purchase this mount. This adds a little bit of weight to the whole helmet setup. And then you have this, uh, all these wires running here. And then you have to wire the wires under a cushion. And then you have to have the microphone with the fuzzy dead cat attached to block out the wind noise. And this has to be mounted somewhere in your helmet. Uh, can't be too low because it's going to be tickling your face and your cheek and you're going to be constantly wanting to scratch it. So up until recently, I've discovered another solution to having really good quality audio for your moto vlogs. And that is with the DJI mic. So basically what I do is I attach the DJI mic right to the chin strap of the helmet and it sits comfortably under your chin and the sound quality is pretty amazing. I've actually been so happy with this that I think I'm going to be switching to only using this and I'm just going to strap it, clap and start recording and then just sync the audio later. Uh, the sound quality on this I found uh, is much better than the Purple Panda. Um, whatever you're using, if you're using this one or that one, let me know what you guys think or what, what your results have been. But today we're basically going to do a little, uh, little riding test with both microphones. I'm going to switch the audio back and forth between both and on the screen I'll indicate which microphone I'm using at the time and you guys can decide uh, for yourselves which one you like better. I will have links to both products in the description so uh, you'll be able to uh, purchase them. So we're gonna be riding on a variety of streets. We're gonna be doing some uh, city driving, some highway driving just to see how the sound compares. Now this microphone, when the shield is closed, you're gonna get a little bit of, of noise reduction but I found that with the DJI mic, you have better control so you can adjust the gain. Where on this one, it's just kind of plug it in and you only have one setting for the mic. So I noticed that sometimes you have more unwanted sounds in the Purple Panda than you do with the DJI mic. So let's get started. Let's hit the road and, and see how these two microphones compare. Now the motorcycle I'm riding today is my new 2023 Kawasaki KLR650. Let's get rolling. Oof. Okay, everybody, so let's get uh, some audio samples going here. I have my, my helmet's visor in the upright position and I'm gonna keep it in the upright position for the remainder of the test. This way both microphones have maximum wind exposure. So the DJI mic is mounted on my chin strap. The Purple Panda is mounted right by where my cheek is, sticking out underneath one of the cushions inside of the helmet. Speed is on my speedometer, so you can see how fast we're going.
Alright, so now we're going to get on to State Road 84. We're going to be heading a little bit eastward. We're going to get on to 595 and get up to speed. There we go. It's a nice, beautiful day today. Temperatures are in the low 70s. And there's not a lot of traffic, so we have ideal riding conditions right now. some some city streets or suburban streets and see how the audio sample compares over there Take the Flamingo Road exit. So now we're on Flamingo Road and we're going to be uh, just kind of cruising along at about 40 miles an hour or so. Entering the town of Davie. I really like the way this phone looks on the quad lock over here. It kind of reminds me of like BMW's, uh, BMW's motorcycle display on the GS series. So we're just cruising along here, 47 miles an hour. Moderately windy day. Seeing how both the Purple Panda and the DJI Mike compare in the wind. So the one thing that I've had to be careful with while using the Purple Panda is you have to check if it's actually connected and recording to the GoPro. Sometimes you turn on the GoPro while it's plugged in and it's not actually recording. So you have to turn it off and on a couple of times for I guess it to register that it's plugged in and the GoPro recognizes that an external microphone is plugged in. And then it starts recording and you can check your audio levels on a little audio display at the bottom of the screen. With the DJI mic, once you hit record, 
you don't even need the receiver. You could just use the transmitter as a standalone, and then you could just sync the audio later in Final Cut Pro or whatever editing software that you're using. But you never have to worry that it's not recording. As long as that red light is on, it's recording, and it's kind of hard to accidentally stop recording when you're riding around. And you don't have to use wires. You just strap it onto your chin. You don't have to worry about wires. You can get rid of the, uh, the GoPro housing mount so you can save some weight. And you can actually use it with the GoPro 11 Mini, which is something I might be considering doing in the near future. right about here then I don't have any wind on my face it goes over the helmet but right about here I'd say it hits about the middle of your helmet you can always upgrade to a bigger aftermarket windshield but I think this one's fine for what I need it for all right folks so I think that's going to conclude the test I hope that these audio samples have uh, helped you to maybe decide if you are looking for a microphone for your for your motor vlogging or YouTube channel just in general. The DJI mic has been a pretty awesome all-around mic. Connects to your iPhone, to your GoPro, uh, to any kind of camera. I use it for my Sony camera sometimes. So it's been pretty easy and you know, working without wires has been a time saver. So if you guys want, please uh, like this video thumbs up and subscribe and please leave your comments in the comment section below let me know what microphone you're using uh, what microphones you prefer uh, if you want me to test any other kind of microphones and let me know and thank you guys for watching have a great day peace out